Hi guys, today I want to do a review of magnetism with you. Magnetic substances. Only iron, nickel and cobalt are magnetic elements. Alloys of these elements are also often magnetic, for example steel, an alloy of iron and carbon, is also magnetic. Polarity. All magnets have two poles called the North and South Pole. If you cut a magnet in two parts, you will simply end up with two smaller magnets. Law of Magnetism. The law of magnetism states that opposite poles are attracted to each other while similar like poles repel from each other. Magnetic Induction. When you place a magnetic material near a magnet, magnetic poles are temporarily, temporarily created in the magnetic material. Iron is said to be magnetically soft. It's easy to magnetize and demagnetize. The test for magnetism. A magnetic material is attracted to either pole of a magnet. A magnet is attracted to one pole of another magnet, but is repelled from the other pole of the magnet. A non-magnetic material does not feel the effect of a magnet. Magnetic field lines and magnetic field patterns. In the space surrounding a magnet is a magnetic field. Magnetic field lines leave from the North Pole and enter the South Pole of a magnet. The field lines are concentrated at the poles. Plotting field lines. Place a plotting compass at one of the poles of your magnet and draw dots where the pointer is. Move the compass and draw another dot. Now, if you do this enough, eventually you're going to see the magnetic field lines around your magnet. Iron filings can also be used to show the field lines. Sprinkle iron filings over a paper covered magnet and the filings will line up in the magnetic field lines. Now the only disadvantage to this is that you can't see the direction of the field that you can do with a compass. But it still looks pretty cool. Putting fields together. When you put a north and a south pole of, a, of two different magnets, you can see the actual field lines move from the north pole of one magnet to the south pole of the other. However, when you're trying to put two opposite poles, sorry, two like poles, like a north and a north, well, the field lines are not allowed to touch each other, so they actually end up pushing away from each other, and this, is cause, this causes the repulsion. And that point in the center is called the neutral point. Guidelines for drawing magnetic field lines. The lines are smooth curves. The field lines are symmetrical around the axis of the magnet. They indicate the strength of the mag magnet by the distance between them, or the strength of the field by the distance between them. They extend outwards from, or converge at the poles. They have a direction from north to south, and they never ever cross. The Earth as a magnet. If a bar magnet is suspended, it will align itself so that the north pole is pointing towards the north. But we know that like poles repel, so how is this explained? Well. The North Geographic Pole is actually a magnetic South Pole, so a compass will actually be attracted towards the Geographic North because it's really a magnetic South Pole. Making Magnets Magnetic materials can be magnetized, and this is done by stroking the magnetic material with an existing magnet. So how can we prove that the paperclip is now a magnet? Well, it should attract other magnetic materials, but also it should repel from a magnet. So what's happened inside the magnet? Well, inside the magnet there are domains, and as you stroke the magnet with the paper clip, the domains line up. But demagnetizing a magnet can be done in three different ways. The particles in a temporary magnet can be jumbled up by heating, by hitting it hard with a hammer, or by passing AC electricity over it. Electromagnetism. A magnetic field is generated around a metal wire when an electric current flows through it. The direction of the field can be predicted using the right hand screw rule. A magnetic field line around a loop of wire. By looping the metal wire, you can create a magnet similar to that of a bar magnet. So by adding a large number of loops next to each other, the magnetic field produced can be greatly increased. This is called a solenoid. 
Okay, guys, I hope that's been useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye for now.